I'll use Jarfires to demo this application. Inside the project package, there's a Jarfires folder, which contains two Jarfires. One is called chatmin jar, the other is directory server jar. To run these Jarfires, you need first change the directory to the Jarfires folder. Then, uh, between these two job files, we'll run the directory server first, then the chat main. So I run the directory server job file with the Java jar command. Then a uh, interface called directory server will pop out, and we could use the start button to start server but uh, let's do it later with the chatman interface now start a new terminal and we'll run the chatman jar file same thing change the directory first and run the jar files Another interface will pop out uh, as chat user. And we will uh, start using this app. So we will start the directory server first, use the start button. Click start, and it will say server already started. Then we go to the user interface to uh, actually use this app. To use this app, uh, the first thing you need to do is give it yourself a name. Uh, in my case, I will give it Jin. And then, uh, to able to use all the functionality and the, uh, interact with the direct server, we need to click Go Online button first. Otherwise, you can't do anything with the system uh, and only can can fetch the uh, all the host servers and user online on the in the system. So we click go online, and uh, we can see uh, the directory server get our registration, and uh, he knows uh, there's uh, a user generated in the system. The query for pairs is for fetch all the information. Uh, of the system, uh, host servers and user users online from the Docker server. So if now we click the query for peers, we can see Jim already pop up uh, in the system. It uh, it means uh, Jim is already go online. Then uh, now since we are already go online, we can join or host a room. Uh, here uh, is the is the list of all the host rooms, but uh, since we didn't create any room before, we need to uh, create a room first. So to uh, use the host button. To host a room, you need to input a valid port number and click host button. You will see two new interface pop out. One is the chat interface that we could chat and uh, uh, text the message we want to send and click send uh, all the users in the chat room will get this message then this peer-to-peer -peer server is a pair server uh, started together with the chat main uh, chat interface which will be as the server for all the pair nodes in this chat room. And uh, the uh, Jin uh, client itself is a client of its own server. And then we could uh, start more users to join this room. Let's uh, have another terminal and do the same thing to join two other users in this room. And the directory. And 
and run the chat main file. Two new chat user interface will pop up as two new users. For the first user, let's give it a name first, as I stated before, and remember to click the go online first. And now to draw in a room, you need to uh, use the query for peers button to first fetch uh, all the information from the directory server. Otherwise, even you know the host name is Jen, you can join a room. So click the button. And you will see a uh, uh, Jen's room uh, pop up. And uh, the R1 means it's a room and there's only one person now in the room. To join this room, uh, just uh, enter the host name, which is Jin, and the click drawing button. And then you can see Bob uh, drawing the room, and then it can see Jin in the room, and Jin can see Bob uh, connected and then come to the room. We uh, try to draw in another one, card team, and click go live first. Query for all the servers. And uh, now Jin has two people already on the room. And uh, now uh, we input the host name Jin to join the same. Now we have three people in the same room. And they can talk together as a group. If Jin say hello, and Bob and Tim will all get this hello information. And uh, Bob is the same. Hello from Bob. And they will get the hello message. Tim is same to say hello. They will all have this uh, chat history. Uh, it can also do a private uh, chat uh, using the add sign. So if team want to chat privately with Jen, it's just a need to add Jen and send a message. Hello to Jen from team. Send. And team will get this private message and Bob will not knowing the content. <laughs> 